channel or welcome if you are new, I'm Eliantra and today we're doing my first build with the new Sims 4 stuff pack, my first pet stuff. Thank you again to EA for giving me early access to this pack so I could build this before the pack is released. It is probably out now by the time this video goes live because the pack is coming out today on the 13th of March, this Tuesday. It usually comes out quite late for Europe and I post quite late for Europe so probably is out by now if you want to go buy it for your but I thought we should build something with this pack because it does come with some cute stuff and this stuff is perfect for kids rooms so I decided to build the childhood bedroom of my dreams <laughs> I mean I think that's what I'm gonna title this video I'm not really sure yet but in the end maybe it's not my dreams necessarily but definitely somebody's dreams because this room this room is dreamy this room is so cool you've got literally everything you could ever want it is so colorful very pastel probably for a girl and it's just very cool but I guess I can't remember what I was like when I was a kid like um less than 10 years old I can't remember and I mean I designed this just for somebody who is maybe like I don't know 7 to 13 14 years old I don't know I remember that I never really played a lot with like dolls or any like toys I don't know I can't remember what I was like I should have like called my mom before this video like mom what would my dream bedroom look, look like <laughs> when I was like 10 cannot remember but hey I would have loved this room I'm quite sure I mean pretty much anyone would love this room and we're doing a split level room as well which I have probably never done probably I have but like I rarely do these they're not super easy uh but it turned out really cool I was inspired by this picture I saw online where the bed area was like on a higher level which is what I'm doing here I had to make another higher level on the other side of the room so you would have some place to enter this room because you cannot enter from the ground level because that is where the foundation is so you enter from the other side and yeah but we made this very well this is for like a pet lover they've got their own little hamster that I named princess fluff <laughs> And um, I thought maybe they would have a cat as well. So there is a, a little scratching post here and a cat bed or a small dog bed if that is what you would prefer. This was so cool. I used so much stuff from the new stuff pack. I already made a review video of all the items. If you want to go check that out, you should do so. And we also already looked at the gameplay. Um, This item, I mean, the items from this pack are definitely not my favorite out there. They're not very versatile. They're definitely cute. And you guys know how much I love my cute stuff. So they do fit that category. But they don't really suit a lot of different rooms or apartments or houses. They're very kid-like, which is why I'm building a kid's room. Because this is where they fit. And, um... The items from the pack also like really suit the items from cats and dogs or some of the more kitty items. They definitely look like they were supposed to be the same set, but they were released in two different packs. Very interesting. So I matched them together. I used items from a bunch of different packs. I didn't really care which packs I was using, uh, but I did try to use most of the items from the new pack. And uh, I love those little hamster chairs. Are they hamsters or are they bunnies? I can't really tell, but I think they're cute. And this bed here is from cats and dogs. It has like like a cat bed frame or with like cat ears and cat sheets on it. Oh, and I did make another addition to the room here. I wanted to have some bookshelves in the wall, like they were built in bookshelves. And I think these ones are from the kids room stuff pack, which is a really good stuff pack, by the way. If you want stuff for kids rooms, I recommend that one over this one. But if you want to have a small pet, this is the pack for you. This is literally the only pack out there that has small pets. And I completely forgot to put it in this room room for the longest time like I was building like I was pretty much done with the furniture and then I was like oh crap <laughs> I don't have the pet in here and that's like the point of this room so I had to get rid of the dresser that I'm currently using and swap it for a different one we're gonna be putting the little hamster there if you didn't know you can either have a hamster a pygmy hedgehog a rat or one of the boy critters that is called bubbleless but I decided to go for the hamster I thought it would be cute but you can obviously change it up actually you cannot you can't because <laughs> 
After I finished building this, I realized there's absolutely no way that I can save this room to the gallery, which is really disappointing. I've like not really built with split level rooms before, so that is what made it. It kind of thinks this room up here where the bed is, is its own separate room. Then the room in the middle, which is on ground level, is, is not a room at all. It's like nothing. It's not its own room. It's like literally, it's just walls. It's really weird. And then the entrance is like its own, own separate room. So there's no way for me to save this as a house the gallery if you guys have a solution let me know in the comments but i don't think i'm gonna be able to download this to the gallery so this is kind of just for you guys to watch me build this here on youtube obviously you can try to replicate this if you would like to do so with the packs that you do own but that is such a shame because i always download all my builds uh to the gallery or upload them to the gallery so you guys can download them but i'm really sorry i didn't know that split levels would totally mess that up and by the way these windows um the single curtains will not go on diagonal windows which was very frustrating as you can see the diagonal window definitely looks a lot wider than the like non-diagonal window which is when i tried to put single curtains on it they looked way too small for the windows they should have also become wider i don't know they just didn't work so i had to uh, improvise and put these curtains in here. I think they're cute. I think these curtains are from the base game. They came with a toddler's update. You've got your little study corner here with a new bookshelf. You've got that dresser uh, or wardrobe. I think it's from the kids room stuff pack as well. On the other side, you've got your big bookshelves, a little uh, bear chair. You've got your little hamster. You also have a couch. <laughs> you have the cool corner couch in here with the big windows. And then when you go up to the higher level, that is where you have have your little bedroom area or bed area. You've got your bed, your side table, some shelves, a clock and two little hamster chairs and I did fit in the cat bed up there too with the little monster one which is really cute. I I really love how this room turned out. It is so colorful, so like fun to look at. There's so many different things. Oh and I made that huge wall like full of those different like hamster tube decal thingies where it looks like the different tubes that your hamsters or hedgehogs or rats or whatever could go in. They are purely decorational but I really wanted to use them to create something cool so I used them on the entire wall so yeah this room is definitely for somebody who likes their pets, who likes their colors. Um yeah <laughs> a very fun kit I would imagine. If you have somebody might let me know in the comments and I was wondering where like if uh if in my cats and dogs let's play Hazel should get a little pet as well because I don't know what other let's play I would put it in. I am looking to start another one soon I just don't know which one yet and I don't want to start a let's play until I'm sure I'm going to love it because you guys know I get bored of let's play so easily anyways that is not the subject of this video the room is pretty much done oh my god these lamps that came from I think they were an update to the base game as well they had a little cat swatch to them and I had no idea so I changed the lamps the uh, roof lamps in this room but here you go unfortunately you cannot download this from the gallery like I already explained but you can try to replicate it if you want. I'm really sorry, but give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this room build. Let me know if you want to see more or what I should build next and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I post new Sims 4 videos every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Hope you're having a lovely day and bye! This